Hi friends, I am Dr. Swapna Chekuri from Hyderabad Women and Fertility Center. Welcome to my channel. So today most of the like you know let us discuss about the most common topic uh, like you know pain during sex. Uh, is it normal or uh, how to prevent it? What could be the causes for that? Because uh, some of the individuals know they usually complain uh, that they have pain uh, while performing the intercourse while performing the coital act. So what could be the possible reasons? So basically it could be because of uh, first of all no, uh, the newly married couple they take lot of stress. So because of stress and anxiety and you know uh, they'll be having that fear the first coital act. So that's when they usually have pain. That's the most commonest. The second one is like vaginismus. See some individuals they'll be like over anxious. Uh, the moment the husband comes closer to them the vaginal muscles starts contracting. So that's when they'll face they'll experience that severe pain at the coital act. Third thing is like we need to rule out the vaginal infections. Any sort of uh, vaginal infections whether it could be a fungal infection or a bacterial infection that can lead to vaginal dryness and uh, that in fact uh, it can lead to pain at, at the time of intercourse. And second and the fourth most commonest point is uh, uh, pelvic inflammatory disease. If at all if the lady is having any pelvic infections either it could be a chlamydial infection or a tuberculosis infection or syphilitic infection that can also lead to pain at the time of intercourse and the presence of any huge ovariances or presence of any fibroids or any uterine pathology can and most commonest is the presence of endometriosis so that can also lead to severe pain because in endometriosis the endometriotic deposits it can be either on the vagina or on the ovary or you know on the uterus as well so that's when the movement of the uterus can cause severe pain that is one of the most pathognomic feature in endometriosis like painful intercourse the minute they say painful intercourse we usually try to rule out endometriosis so these are all the common uh, you know, common uh, problems uh, like where they are uh, associated with uh, vaginal pain at the time of intercourse. So how do you diagnose? So basically when the lady comes with this complaint we do an internal checkup, we do a simple pelvic examination. First of all we do a digital examination whether they will allow us to do a a simple or digital examination or not. If they are comfortable then we gently put a speculum inside. So if we are able to insert the speculum yeah then even the vaginismus is ruled out because most of the individuals if they have this vaginal vaginismus or vaginal dryness they don't even allow us to insert a single finger. So that's where uh, we can rule out this vaginismus. And most of the times counseling plays an important role when the lady is having this vaginismus. They'll be over anxious, over, uh, you know, over anxiety. So uh, counseling helps a major role. So that's how we usually you know, come to a diagnosis of this, uh, uh, whatever the prob underlying problems they have. And treatment is like, you know, we need to treat the underlying cause. Basically, in case of vaginismus, counseling plays a major role. In case of vaginal dryness because of infection, once we control the infection, the symptoms can get relieved. Third thing is like, we usually advise for, to use lubricants in some of the newly married couple just to, to relieve the vaginal tightness. And uh, in case of any pelvic infl inflammatory disease, we usually give a course of antibiotics to reduce the infection. And in case of any pelvic masses like ovarian cyst or endometriotic cyst, then we try to deal it surgically. So first we try with the medical line of management. If it doesn't get clear, then we have to go for the surgical management. So these are all the treatment modalities available with the you know, painful intercourse. So friends, uh, if you find the video is informative, please like my video and share with your friends and needy people. Thank you.